hi friends welcome back to my channel in today's video I will be showing you a simple yet very effective method that I use to fertilize my shade vandas in the past I would use the miracle grow device to fertilize these orchids but I wasn't doing it quite frequently and so they were not getting the required amount of nourishment or nutrients that they should be getting and so I came up with this solution of how to fertilize them more effectively so if you want to see the method that I use to fertilize my shade vandas don't go anywhere just stay tuned to this video and let's jump right into it Welcome back friends so these are my shade vandas and as you can see they are in bloom and I must tell you that before I started using this method I never used to get these blooms and what I simply did was to put some slow release fertilizer in a stocking discarded stocking foot cut it into the stocking foot into pieces and put some slow release fertilizer in it hang it onto the hanger or tie it onto the hanger of the shaded vanda and just rest it in the basket and I've been doing this or using this method for about a year now and these are the results look at these blooms look at how magnificent they are and this method is so simple and easy. But recently, I have found out that over time, these talking foot, they, or containers or sack, whatever you want to call it, they start to decay. And I say, I, you know, I thought about it and I said, no, I need to move away from the stocking foot and find another sack that will last much longer. And so I came up with this idea to use the garlic bag. These little bags that you buy the garlic in at the market or supermarket, don't throw them out. You can find use for them. And this is one such use. So I put some of the slow release fertilizer in the, in the sack. And I should tell you, the slow release fertilizer contains a lot of ingredients like nitrogen, phosphate, potash, copper, zinc, sulfur, iron, to name a few. So, when each time I water, the coating on the pebbles, it melts each time I water and releases the fertilizer onto the roots of the shade vanda. And so I'm going to tie this sack onto tie this sack onto the hanger of the shade vanda. And this fertilizer should be replenished every six months. And this sack is like about eight months old. So this is old. So it doesn't matter that it has two sacks in this basket and the basket it's mainly to support the vanda to put the hanger on it so you can hang it freely in your garden because the shade vandas they are epiphytic or epiphytic whatever you may call it which means they grow on trees or on rocks so the basket is mainly for support and I'm going to take you to some more of my shade vandas and I should say that I have them growing underneath this ficus tree i had them on my palm but over time the palm tree became overcrowded as my 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 i mean my stock increased and i decided to take some of them from the palm tree and put them or relocate them here underneath the ficus and they seem quite happy they have been doing so well look at all these roots and the roots have have been getting even more roots since I started using this fertilizing method. So friends, 
I'm going to be sharing with you some more of my shade vandas. Not all of them are spiking or in bloom, but nonetheless, I'll show you around the ficus tree. This is another one that is in spike. And this one is Vanda Jamaica Pixie crossed with Coltana Gold Spots. It has bloomed before, but not quite frequently. But I do believe I'm seeing better results since I've started using the slow release fertilizer in the sack and placing them in the baskets. And this is Bangkok Sunset, which is a hybrid. The tag is faded. Rain corrides Bangkok Sunset. Very beautiful plant. Oh, and the, this is also in spike. Let me see if there is an ID. No, I'm not seeing an ID for this plant. And these two shade vandas, they have like about three or more growths in the basket, as you can see. And they're quite healthy. Look at all these roots. Very healthy plants. Well, here we are. I am now at the Arika Palm, where I originally had all the shade vandas. But as my stock increased, increased, I had to relocate them, or relocate some of them to the ficus tree. And I am not as brave as Miss Betty, you know, to mount. If you, you would have seen in a previous video where I did a garden tour at Miss Betty's, and she would have her vandas growing all the way up in her areca palm. I'm not as brave as her to climb on a ladder and do that with my vandas, so I just put them within my reach. This one, there is no ID. But it seems similar to the one underneath the ficus, but I am seeing a little um, difference because I think this has a little bit more cream in the bloom or in the petals. And this little one here, it is fragrant. It has a lovely new spike right here, as you can see. And these orchids have been on this areca palm for over 10 years, so the IDs are all faded. And this one here, this vanda has not bloomed in years. Perhaps about 10 years it has not bloomed. Let me see if I can find the last. Yes, here it is right here. This was the last time it bloomed, um, guys. And that was many, many years ago. And since I started using the slow release fertilizer. As you can see, the sack is right here. And it's decaying, as I said before. Doesn't last for too long, but I'm getting results. And here we have another spike. There is no ID, but this one blooms orange. It's an orange bloom, because it bloomed recently. As you can see, the fertilizer sack And this little one right here, believe it or not, it is about 10 years old. And it was just sitting there not doing anything. And since I started using the fertilizer sack, you can see there is one dead spike here, another one here, and another one here. Yes, so it has bloomed about three times. Let me give you a close-up look. The blooms are fading now, but it is still a beautiful bloom. There you go. 
and this one right here it is not in spike but look at these leaves how droopy they look and you know I gave up on this vanda because I said it seems as if it's on its way to dying and I really gave up on it and since I put the fertilizer sack into the basket I mean look at this friends it has given me two new leaves and they are not droopy they are standing upright and they are quite firm as you can see so I guess this plant is well on its way to surviving so we've come to the end of yet another video if you enjoyed my video please share and also leave me a comment below and please remember to subscribe to my channel at precious blooms jamaica and you can also follow me on instagram and facebook at precious blooms ja thank you again for watching until next time See you soon. Live it up, live it up, live it up.